Hey what's going on guys, just before we dive into the video I want to let you know that we have an awesome Iceborne giveaway running right now with the guys over at Gamersheek for everything you see on screen. A PS4 Pro, a year of PlayStation Plus, the steelbook copy of Iceborne and even the two Monster Hunter Nendroid figures. If you want to enter, click the link in the description box down below. And if you want to save some money on your Monster Hunter pre-order, you can grab it at Gamersheek, use code ARIXGAMING and it will give you a discount making it the cheapest place to buy it that we've seen in the UK. Hey what's going on guys, Arix here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne and in this one I want to give you guys a quick rundown on the event quests that are currently available. This is something that any of you and all of you can do. If you've just dived into Iceborne and you've only just started the campaign, then all four currently available event quests are all Master Rank 1 and two of them actually yield cool items. The other two are just kind of useful for getting materials, so I figured I'd quickly go over exactly what you need to know. So if you go over to the quest board, you scroll over to event quests, you'll see there are four quests. The first one is pearl snatchers. This requires that you deliver six pearl spring macaques. If you go and do this one, what you need to do is go to the hot springs. There's one over in area two and one over in area six. The macaques are of course the uh, weird creepy looking monkey things that uh, they actually had a plushie made of in the most recent stream incredibly terrifying to look at. However, get out your bug net, catch them. They do of course run away when you try and do it, so you want to try and line it up and grab as many as you can because you need six in total. But once you've done that, you complete the quest, you'll get a ticket, which you can then take to the smithy and you can then use that to craft the Pearl Spring Alpha headgear, which uh, looks kind of hilarious and also terrifying. But hey, my character's bald, maybe it'll keep my head warm. So yeah, if you want to make that, that is available, you can do that right now. You need a few tickets, so you might have to run it a couple of times, but it's pretty easy. The second one you definitely want to do is the Trophy Fishing Quest. This will have you hunt two Bear Todas, not at the same time. You hunt one, wait for it to despawn, the next one spawns. Pretty easy. Obviously, if you're starting out anyway, Bear Todas armor looks kind of cool, so you might want to just do this to get Bear Todas materials. But more importantly, if you complete this, you get to craft this bad boy. This is the Frozen Spear Tuner. This is a great sword in the shape of a Frozen Spear Tuner. Need I say more? It's wacky, I love it. This is some of the stuff that I love Monster Hunter Forge when they bring out wacky, crazy weapons like this. And it's kind of easy to craft, so if you're looking for a starting great sword, then uh, maybe you might want to use this. You can also upgrade it. It goes to the Freezer Spear Tuner and then all the way up to Rarity 11, the Xiphias Gladius, I believe that's how you pronounce it. 1,152 attack. Of course, a decent amount of white sharpness. I have handicraft on, so it's even more. 0% affinity and plenty of ice attack. Now, obviously, you don't typically use a great sword for elemental, but that is still a hefty chunk of ice attack and pair that with the newly improved elemental damage, then uh, it could be kind of cool. Either way, if you want to get that, complete that quest and you can go and start crafting that. Beyond that, your other two event quests are the Lord of the Underworld Beckons. This one requires that you gather 20 underground fruit, and this one doesn't really give you any equipment or anything out of it. It's mainly used for getting certain materials. When you complete this, you get a stack of bones, which are basically useful for kind of crafting early game equipment. And finally, you have the last one, a bunch of sticks in the mud. Again, this is just hunting two Bambaro. Pretty easy, and again, this doesn't actually yield any items, but what it does do is it's a good quest for raising your hunter rank and your master rank. So if you're trying to boost through and raise that rank, then this is one of those nice quests you can just do to get bonus points for that. Plus, of course, if you happen to want to farm Bambaro, it's also an easy way to just get some materials for that. So those are your event quests. They're live right now. I'll also link the event quest schedule in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. There are a few event quests dropping over the next few weeks. Largely speaking, the ones with the gear are the ones that are active right now. And the top two are actually active for quite some time. So you got plenty of time to do that, don't worry. But for the time being, that's it. Keep it locked. I've got plenty more Iceborne videos coming your way later on today and you definitely don't want to miss them. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.